right. Oh, look at that. Look, look who we got in the studio today. That's not incredibly morbid at all. Clap it up, everybody. I asked you guys a question on my last community post, and you delivered. I was actually very surprised the amount of votes I got. I asked, what video do you want to see next? Video? Did I just say video? What video do you want to see next? Jesus Christ, can't even speak English nowadays. And the majority of the votes, <laughs> the design is very human. What do you think? Alright, fuck you too. Or So I've scoured the internet far and wide, and by far and wide, I mean a, a, a quick Google search. I thought I'd find funny videos for you guys. I wanted to show you into this deep, deep world of very inconvenient contraptions. And all I have to say is the design is not very human. So first I want to start off with one of my favorites. So let's, let's roll the clip. Sometimes after our feet are stepped on by others, and they don't know. So, I invented this anti-stepping shoe cover. The design is very human, when someone steps on us. <laughs> he can't leave, without giving us an apology. Very easy to use. God damn! I know I shouldn't put my penis in there, but I wonder what would happen. New design! A very human design. Instead of having to carry around a cup, you have a giant metal spike that is in your abdomen that extends out the cup for you. New design. It's very human. Uh, instead of having a helmet uh, for motorcycle, the motorcycle transforms into a, a padded cushion around you as you crash into a fan. New human design. Man, I should I should start inventing these. You know, you know how much money I could make? Let me pull up a chair. It's like one in the morning. I'm sleepy as hell. Let's look at some more human designs. Many people are afraid to eat meat for fear of gaining weight. <laughs> Where these tears are drool. <laughs> yeah, I just stare down at my meat crying. Just. <laughs> 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 so, I invented this meat fat reduction device. The design is very human. We only need to put the meat on the machine, then start the switch. Let the meat move to reduce their fat, so we don't have to worry about gaining weight by eating meat. Very easy to use. Is this really true? Is this really tr- Is this really true? Shit, my light fell over. There we go. That's uh, better. My world has been shattered forever. I just- These people are so- so intelligent, I, I can't believe- I'm like a troglodyte to them, I can't even believe that I've never- How could I have been so blind? I fucking love these. <laughs> In the morning we always cannot get up, so, I invented this force to get up to assist the bed. The design is very human. Every morning when the time is set, it will force us to get up. <laughs> so that we can wake up early every day. Very easy to use. I love in the end when he just <laughs> <laughs> really gave him the fear of God there. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I would probably die of a fucking heart attack if I had that installed in my fucking room. <laughs> I have trouble getting up normally too, but the oh my god, new design. It's like a it's, it's like a chastity belt, but anytime, <laughs> but you you install a motion sensor and fingerprint scanner, and if there's a fingerprint that scans incorrectly and the motion is a girl trying to, to suck or, or a guy trying to suck dick it clamps shut on the dick and it chops it off very easy to use the design is very human <laughs> all i need to fund it now is three thousand dollars so pay up this is my newly invented multifunctional bicycle seat the first is the anti-theft system after locking others can't ride away rain does not affect the use of the seat it is easy to freeze our ass in winter so also added seat heating function if we are tired of riding can also stop at any time to bake food to eat very easy to use. <laughs> oh. oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> You'd be surprised that that anti-lock system probably wouldn't work in some parts of the world. People are very determined to steal your bicycle. I'm talking to you, Josh. By far the most impressive, <laughs> the most impressive feature on that bike is the stove and the ass heater. Oh, beautiful. You no, know, I, I really like arriving to, to my destination with baked buns, you know what I'm saying? I love arriving at my workplace with a black ass. I love going out with my friends with my fried ass. I love biking down the mountain trail. My toasted, roasted, baked 
and crispy ass. The burns just add to the life experience. When we go out in high heels, it is easy to twist our feet on uneven surfaces. So, I invented this all-terrain heels. The design is very human. Let my good friend demonstrate. We only need to put the air tank on our back. When we encounter an uneven surface, we only need to push the switch. It can switch to a flat shoe. Press the switch again to switch to high heels, where it to run and climb mountains can. Very easy to use. It's so useful. And so human, it's so non-cumbersome. <laughs> the, the giant air tank on the back. I bet that's super easy to get to carry her. I'd rock that look. I'd rock it. You, you know I'd rock that look. N new design. Okay, listen to this. Okay, it's very human. Are you tired of getting sunburned? Well, well now we have, j just encase yourself in a giant steel box on wheels. That gets, just, it goes somewhere. It kind of uses like Roomba technology to figure out where and, and where not to go like that. You might get hit by a few cars, but it'll learn. The AI, the AI will learn if, if you're not already dead. Very human. When we slap our friends, our own hands can be very painful. So, I invented this slapping machine. The design is very human. Let me demonstrate. We just need to put the machine in front of our friend and then make a movement in front of the camera. The machine will imitate us so that our hands don't feel pain, very easy to use. That's actually really cool. Like the technology is really cool that it detects the, I'm not sure if it like detects like slapping motion or if it like detects just motion in general, but either way, that's really cool. <laughs> in the West, you know, you, you throw a glove at someone to challenge them to a duel, right? Imagine you challenge someone to a duel. Instead, you slap them instead of throwing a glove or slapping them with a glove. Imagine doing it in the modern times. Just, whoa, whoa, hold on one sec, one sec. Let me, let me set this up. Let me just, let me just get this giant machine over here. Let me just, ah, all right. Let me, hold on, just stand, stand right there. Yeah, right by this hand. Yeah, hold on. S sorry, I don't want to hurt my hand. Hold on, let me just, all right. You guys got a power supply. I got a, I got to plug this in. I, I, I need to, I need to challenge him to a duel, man. New human design. All right, I know I've thought about a lot of these. Okay, I, I know, but this is a good one. Don't you hate when it, it's very light outside and you walk into your house and the lights are off and you can't fucking see shit. Well, with my new invention, my new human design, it detects motion whenever you walk through a doorway. It activates a nuclear fusion to... to <laughs> it occurs in your house and, and the light. It just... You know, light goes everywhere and it's so bright so you can see again. Very easy to use. We are easily awakened by nightmares at night. It is difficult to fall asleep again after waking up. So, I invented this soothing bed. The design is very human. When we are awakened by nightmares, it will automatically activate the switch to put us to sleep and also help us cover up. Very easy to use. Automatically activate the switch to put us to sleep and also help us cover up. <laughs> And that's gonna do more than put you back to sleep. That, I mean, that'll put you back to sleep, all right, but you're not gonna be waking up. I don't know, maybe that's maybe that's the best way to sleep. And tucking you back in is is a nice feature. Maybe cover some some of the blood so when your family finds you, it's a little less disturbing, considering you're probably gonna be missing your head or it's caved in. Either or. Our boyfriends often look at pretty girls while using their phones. So, I invented this device. The design is very human. When the camera detects a pretty girl on the phone, it will automatically activate the switch. Very easy to use. I always love, okay, the thing I love the most about these is just the, the, the fact that the person is sitting in the machine in the first place. This, the, the, the whole, these contraptions, the only way they could possibly be effective is if the person is always sitting them at, is sitting in the machine at all times while looking at their phone. So this implies that they'd have to say, hey, no, listen, to look at your phone, you have to go sit in this chair, okay? Anytime you, you look at your phone, you gotta do that, all right? You gotta do it for me. I, oh, it's so silly. I love it. I love it so much. It's just mwah, mwah, beautiful. I love these so much. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I was wrong. These designs really are human. I started off a doubter. I started off thinking that these designs could never possibly be human. But I was proven wrong. They're so goddamn human. Do you think they're human? Do you think they're human? Fuck you. Anyway. Very human design. Like and subscribe. Maybe watch some of my other content. And take care.